Mona, Eric Davis, Hadesy Airstream. We're going to talk 22-foot sport. So, Mona, I want you to go grab uh, Mama Mary and Papa Chris. Bring them over to the TV because they're going to want to see this. 22-foot sport Airstream. The great thing about it right away is this is a 7-foot 3-inch width. So as far as what you're towing with, you've got the view to make sure that you can roll down the road. And obviously the reason you're looking at this vehicle is because of its ease of operation. Uh, from the standpoint, its weight, its towability, all that. Does it get any better than the 22-foot Airstream? I don't believe so. So we're going to start up front. We're going to see all of the cool stuff. Let's start first of all with the, I call them the sunglasses. The sun, this is all Lexan. This is going to take the abuse. This allows us to open up, create an awning, and then on the inside here we've got tempered glass, three position window. This is going to not only keep the deck cool, but also um, protect the actual trailer itself but also act certainly as that UV protection. What you can see is you have a membrane finish over the aluminum here. So this is a 3M membrane application that's going to take care of all of our ground abuse. Outstanding, it's very cool, and it's the fact that you can't even see it, but yet it's there for the protection. Then we've got some of the fun stuff. You've got an undermount spare tire. Uh, why is that good? Well, the good thing is, first of all, no UV light's going to hit that tire, uh, so to degrade it over a period of time. It actually sits into a cradle, so when it drops out of place, there's no hardware for the, hard, for the uh, spare tire. We pick it up and we just pull it out and we take care of business. However, I will tell you, with purchase of an Airstream comes what's called, uh, well, it's 24-7 roadside assistance. I will call it AAA on steroids but it's called CoachNet. So with CoachNet, that allows you to, let's say, the confidence of getting out on the road without having to worry about any issues with your trailer. You've got protection for your twin 20-pound propane tanks. You've got all your business up front here. You have here a quick disconnect propane port. So Mona, why does that work? Because we're gonna wanna grill you up some burgers, Mona. We will, have a, we will give you a length of gas line to go with. We can set that beautiful grill uh, working off of our propane resource. I don't have to carry a secondary fuel source, which is a beautiful thing. Now, then we start with the beautiful, all the light that pours into the Airstream. By the way, the windows on the Sport are hers windows. They are the ones that pivot out. What does that mean? They are jealousy type windows, so they're not, they don't slide, meaning that if we've got rain coming, guess what? I still have, uh, I, don't, I don't have to worry about the air rolling through. That takes care of itself. By the way, 2016 Sport model. The cool thing that I'm going to tell you today, all of the lighting on the Sport 2016 is all LED. All your running lamps, all of your interior lamps. What that means is longevity, we don't have to worry about bulbs, we don't have to worry about the heat that is created by incandescent bulbs. Water heater is here. This is your access port to your potable water. Airstream is kind of cool in that uh, they're really good with locking up that travel trailer. No one will have access to your potable water. Uh, then you have your, uh, they've gone to a new uh, polished aluminum panel on your uh, forced air furnace. Way cool. Then we get to more of the business. Quick uh, quick talk about axle system. This is a um, axle system that utilizes uh, rubber torsion bars that are frozen in nitrogen then an additional axle is inverted into that sleeve. This is a Dexter axle system. Basically what you have are two independent wheels rolling down the road. Uh, if I'm going to get something to follow me, I want it first of all to have this low silhouette by design an Airstream about 70% of the weight of an Airstream is from the floor level down. Then I have the Dexter axle system, which you would think this is new technology. Uh, Airstream has been utilizing this system since the 60s, so very cool thing. 
Access panels, which by the way are not plastic. These are buck riveted aluminum. Um, that is your access panel to your refrigerator system. Then you have your access for your 30 amp service. You also have the opportunity to do a cable hookup. Um, and then you have an outdoor shower, Mona. Uh, we can take this outdoor shower after you've uh, chased the ball, after you've run through the lake a few times, you come out, we're gonna give you a hot shower. Then you can tell mom and dad, come on over, you know, take care of business. Don't put your dirty feet in my clean trailer because you know your paws are going to be clean. So take care of business with the outdoor shower. Now you have the fun stuff. You have your, uh, uh, this is your access water for city water connection. It has an interior regulator. What that means is you don't need an external one. It's going to protect uh, the pipes. It's going to protect the copper. It's going to protect that uh, flexible PVC on the interior. Then you have the business of, by the way, we have lighting for our gray water and black water sewer septic system. And with that comes this cute little thing here, which is the black water flush system. So after I have emptied my tanks, I have the ability to go back, plug into fresh water, using, say, almost like an umbrella with, uh, with, the, with the fabric off and the tines spinning, clean out that entire black water system. I refer to it as clean hands. Come on around. I believe that Airstream is the best looking travel trailer from the back end. And why is that? You have the classic round lamps, LED. You have the beautiful, of course, paneled um, construction with the uh, buck riveting. Uh, once again, uh, I love the Bambi logo combined with the round tail lights and the jealousy window. So rolling down the road, does it get any better than this? I don't think so. Now how about this? Look at the size of the awning on the 22. This rolls the entire length of this travel trailer. When it comes right down to it, Mona, where do we really want to spend our time? Outside. I'm going to show you the beautiful interior of this, but certainly that makes sense. You've got additional um, access for uh, electrical outlets. You have LED lamps outside, so if I'm going off planet, I'm going to come back in the evening, I'm going to have lights so I can get my keys to make things happen. Now when you talk about the construction of an Airstream, you have, first of all, you've got a screen door, fully welded aluminum. Then you have the radius door, which is done, takes Airstream eight hours to produce that door. Um, and you see it grabs the screen, opens up, and locks into place. Beautifully accomplished. By the way, low silhouette in the Airstream, here's the thing. One step to get into this beautiful travel trailer. Come on in, this is something. As I walk into the 22, obviously, probably what catches your eye is going to be all the beautiful decor, uh, the upgrades that they've gone to the, uh, the soft um, uh, white laminate, uh, textured floor, all the beautiful um, gray laminate as you walk in. Right away, you've got a coat closet. You've got a coat closet. You've got the controls at your fingertips here so that I can make sure all of my LED lamps are on. I can say hi to myself because I got my dry erase board. You will have a fantastic fan. And these things are just that. What that does is allows you to pull tens of thousands of cubic feet of air through this platform. Um, while you've got all the beautiful fore and aft windows, side to side windows, that's going to really keep you cool in the summer. Now the one thing about the 22 platform is going to be the bathroom. Come on in and check this out. Not only do you have plenty of room to uh, change your socks, but you've got porcelain toilet, you've got the uh, all the wonderful uh, laminate storage, you've got stainless steel sink, you've got a uh, a, uh, and I know Mona, the dad's a big guy. He's got plenty of walk-in room and a seat for that uh, bathroom, which I think makes all the sense in the world. Then as you, as you come, you're going to see you've got, you've got the uh, full storage uh, wardrobe, which is going to provide tremendous amount of uh, uh, space for not only what could be pantry items on the way, all the way up to whatever you want to take in clothing. You, 
comes with. We don't have the TV uh, hooked up, but we have, you've got a 20, I believe 22 inch HD LED TV. Uh, new for this market year. This is the Dometic system, which allows us to take the refrigerator, and it's got an access, certainly for the freezer, but I can pull that freezer space off and dedicate the entire refrigerator to just um, cool goods as opposed to the frozen goods. And I have what's really neat about this Dometic system is I can run off either propane, I can run off battery, or shore power. So once again, that is the cool factor. Now, new for this year is going to be the uh, galley. What I mean by that is that everything is recessed. You've got a recessed uh, sink, stainless steel sink well. Recessed as far as the um, range top is concerned. Now, what's great about that? Look at the amount of counter space. I mean, this is just stunning from the standpoint of counter. Everything is done with the aluminum levelors so we can let the light in. You've got these beautiful uh, tambour doors which gives us all that beautiful access. Undermount LED lamps. And then, of course, from the standpoint of storage. We love the storage in an Airstream. We've gotten kind of, we've gotten kind of selfish as far as the amount of storage that is supplied in an Airstream. But obviously, this is going to give us a lot of square cubic feet. Look at this. This mark, we now have an opportunity. We've got, this is a convection microwave. What I can do with that is I can, I can uh, microwave, I can grill, I can bake. You want to do the cookies, Mona? Let's do the cookies. Now let's check out this dinette. Okay, uh, the dinette setup is beautiful. First of all, let's let some light in. I've got this wonderful uh, ultra leather. Mona, by the way, your paws, you can't scratch this. You can't beat this up. You come out of the lake, you're soaking wet. I want you to lay down on this, Mona, because you can't. This is the best stuff in the world. It's got that glove soft hand. It also breathes, breathes so it cannot affect your, uh, you know, you, no hot sticky in the summer, no cool slick in the winter. Now let's talk about the dinette. You have a gas cylinder base so it drops into place when you want it for a sleeper. But look at this. Look what I can do here. I'm moving it out of the way. And then what else I can do? Look at all of the room I have. Completely versatile. So whether I'm playing uh, cards with my buddies here, uh, we can have all the other dogs over. Make sure that we have uh, uh, the dinette set up. But also, I can rotate it in, rotate it out. If I'm watching television, I have the opportunity to use this as a computer workstation. So once again, the dinette setup in the, uh, in the Airstream is paramount. Let's check out the master bedroom. First of all, as we look at the uh, master or the front entrance to the master bedroom, what I love about the 22, first of all, is the amount of light that pours in here. It gives us a light feel to a, a relatively compact travel trailer, uh, but that is all about rolling down the road without a lot of weight. So, the setup here is absolutely beautiful. This is bigger than the full. This is almost queen in its, uh, in its size and scale. You, I can shut myself off from the rest of the oper operation. I've got these beautiful uh, frosted panels. I have a nightstand here. I have storage. There's storage behind, beside both the bed, uh, so that uh, that's a great catch-all for what I need to place. And then, of course, you've got the. Uh, this, by the way, is the cool thing. We've got a memory foam topper mattress that was new for 2015. Obviously, they carried that on to the 2016 models. You've got, by the way, storage galore underneath. Storage in the front and aft here. And then, of course, you've got the tambour storage, LED lighting, LED lighting above. But what I do have, I've got window access uh, on the port side, window access on the starboard side, window access in front of me. So from the standpoint of the cool factor, um, from uh, if I'm going to sleep here, I'm going to have plenty of air moving around. I love the, the look of the master bedroom in the 22. Mona, I want to thank you for uh, reaching out, uh, considering the 22-foot uh, Airstream Sport. Uh, I believe it doesn't get any be better than this from the standpoint of overall, um, let's say, size. 
the ability to roll down the road with a small platform, not investing in a monster truck to have to tow this because of its size, its weight. Uh, but the bottom line is, this is the 22-foot Airstream Sport. Mona, give me a call. My phone is area code 614-279-8880. Or you can reach me via email, uh, eric at haydesey.com. Uh, Mona, I can't wait to shake both your paws. So come on out. Uh, two things. I want to make sure that you uh, uh, enjoy the journey, but most of all, happy camping.